we're discussing hydrogen today because it can be a decarbonization tool, especially for sectors that are hard to electrify. Because hydrogen increases the amount of other greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, and it is a very small molecule, it's hard to contain, if we leak too much of it, that will start to offset the climate benefits we intend to achieve with deploying hydrogen instead of deploying fossil fuels. We know very, very little about how much hydrogen is leaking. And part of that is because we don't have the instrument that can measure hydrogen at the precision level and the speed we need to really quantify leaks, especially the small leaks that matter for the climate in the aggregate. There are hydrogen monitors that exist, but the current technology is relatively slow and not that sensitive. In order to measure leaks from a remote distance of hydrogen, you need a very fast monitor and a very sensitive monitor. And that's what's new about the monitor that we're testing today. It, it has those characteristics. There are thousands of potential leak points, so what you really want to do is drive around a facility in a vehicle or potentially on a drone and make measurements from a distance, find whether there's a leak or not, and if there is, trace it to its source. And for that, you need a fast, sensitive instrument, and that's really what's different here. What we're learning is that this method is working successfully in these tests. We're getting quantitative measurements that, that agree with the known release rates. And so we're very optimistic um, that this is demonstrating that this method can be used uh, to quantify uh, hydrogen emissions. Now we know that works, we can actually take this instrument to real-world facilities like a fertilizer plant, like a hydrogen fueling station, and trying to actually measure how much hydrogen emissions is getting out of those places day to day. In the future, if the hydrogen economy grows in the way that we expect it, there are going to be hundreds and thousands of operations that need to be leak tested, at least occasionally, and some of them maybe continuously. Uh, and so I think this is the beginning of a very important uh, and significant endeavor. It is so urgent to deal with the climate crisis. We cannot afford any kind of misstep, which means when we deploy hydrogen, we cannot afford for it to leak a large amount and it start to offset the climate benefit it can achieve. It is really important to maximize the potential of every climate solution we're intending to use.